Hi, welcome to our question and answer episode for InstructionalFitness.com. I'm Sherilyn Roy, and this is my co-host, Joe Tong. Hi, Sherilyn. Hello. Hi out there. Actually, Sherilyn's going to start us off with our first question. Yeah, and the first question is from Bowen from Boston, Massachusetts. This question's for you, Joe. It says, hi, Joe. I've been working out for about five months now, and my goals are to cut fat and increase muscle mass. Is it possible to do both at the same time? If so, what should my routine look like? And when should I drink my post-workout shake? That's a good question, Bowen, and I think many of us actually want those uh, results, but you can't achieve them. As far as the training, what I would do is actually I would slow down your training, giving yourself a little more rest time between sets, about a minute and a half with heavier weights, and actually I would keep your repetitions a little bit lower, probably anywhere from six to 10. Uh, with that, you're going to be training more for muscle mass. And then actually with that, you're going to need to do some cardio. What do you recommend with that? With your cardio, I think you should start at a certain duration and then keep adjusting the time every single week to increase your duration. But most importantly, you should be training at 60% of your maximum heart rate. Therefore, you should always be making sure that you're wearing a heart rate monitor because you don't want to at any point sacrifice any of the muscle that you've been building out on the floor. I also think with the diet too, you're going to have probably uh, roughly six meals a day every two to three hours. If you're trying to lose the fat like you had suggested, what I would do is recommend alternating your carb days. Have uh, two days with a little bit lower amount of carbs and on your third day have more carbs. Kind of shock your body so it doesn't get used to the diet that you're following. Any thoughts on that? I totally agree. Just eat a little bit cleaner. And again, every week, try to clean up your diet a little bit more so that a body, the body has seven days to adapt to it, and then it notices another change once you adjust something in your diet. Good luck, Bowen, and let us know how it goes. Our next question is from Griffin from Naples, Florida. Griffin writes in and says, I'm currently in a weightlifting class for my basketball team where I attend school. We lift from 10 o'clock to 10.30, and my question to you is, should I be drinking my normal post-workout protein shake, 25 grams, protein after my workout, even though I eat lunch an hour and 15 minutes later. I follow your guidelines of eating every two to four hours with three meals, and I know that there's some fluids that are taken by the body as a food, which got me curious. If this is not the case, should I have another type of supplement other than regular water, perhaps with less grams of protein after class? Your opinion would be greatly appreciative. Okay, as far as regards to your post-workout drink, I would actually recommend throwing some carbs into that drink because you're gonna need carbs to replenish what you lost, your glycogen stores. It's important to have that, I'd say, within about 15 minutes at the longest. Think so? I agree. Definitely. And then the meal that you're having after that, which is an hour and 15 minutes, that's perfectly fine. You still wanna have a meal that's gonna have carbs in it and a low fat source of protein. You want something that's gonna be digested relatively quickly. The next question you have is actually as far as the drinks, and from what I understand what you're saying is, what I would recommend is split your meals up to say six meals a day. You could alternate, say a drink, a meal, a drink, a meal, which is a little bit easier on your digestive system. Or like you were saying, as far as what do you believe with the food source compared to the drink? I think that when you can and whenever possible, it's best to get all your nutrients from real food as, you use, as opposed to using a type of supplement such as a meal replacement shake or a protein supplement shake. It definitely has a difference in the way your body reacts to the proteins. I agree. I think the people nowadays with a lot of jobs and everything, if you don't have time, there are some great drinks out there, so definitely take them to your advantage. Coming from San Antonio, Texas, Josh writes in and asks, I'm 20 years old, I've taken a pro-hormone, and right now I'm on a post-cycle therapy. I was wondering if you would recommend me taking another cycle, and how long should I wait after my PCT? Second question, what supplements should you take? Okay, I definitely think at 20 years old, you should not be doing any type of pro-hormones. At that age, your body is still making a very large quantity of testosterone on its own. It's not until people get later in their 40s, even 50s, that their actually testosterone levels start to diminish where they're having a harder time to put on muscle. So that's not even something you should be thinking about at this point. You should be trying to get everything out as naturally as much as you can. As far as supplements, uh, myself, I think creatine is a great supplement to use if you're trying to put on size. I always recommend a multivitamin. I think it's kind of like a car insurance policy, just something good to have and along with a good whey isolate protein. Uh, and with you, I mean, with your competition and everything, what do you recommend? Um, I recommend, you know, if you're going to go for the size and things like that, a lot of the, the most important thing you need to know is your diet has to be intact. Um, you know, it's easier to do the other 
stuff, so, <laughs> so you can call it. But really focus on your diet. Really get in the calories you need to, to make the gains that you're looking for. Remember, it doesn't always just come in a bottle, whether it's a supplement, it's a vitamin or protein. It's a lot of hard work. But if you put in the work, you get the results. And the winner of our t-shirt giveaway is Griffin from Florida. Congratulations. And if you want your chance to win, be sure to write to us at instructionalfitness.com with all your questions. I'm Joe Tong. And I'm Sherilyn Roy. Thanks for tuning in.